my name is Iswandi. I'm from Epsilon Singapore. So I'm overlooking the growth of our digital media solution uh, for Southeast Asia. So Epsilon as a whole, uh, we are a marketing platform where we are broken down into both our parts of MarTech as well as EdTech, where we boost our enterprise-grade CDP, our award-winning loyalty module, as well as messaging. And specifically for myself, I'm from the EdTech team, where we have we boost our digital media solution, where it helps brands to activate their first-party data for their programmatic buying. First of it, surely we, in terms of identity, when it comes to third-party cookies deprecation, one will be programmatic buying via first-party data. Um, number two, when it comes to connected TVs, as TVs are getting smarter and smarter nowadays, it's, an, it's also a landscape for advertisers to bring in their products to the front of people's eyes. Uh, and lastly, the next wave will be retail media network in terms of monetizing their own data uh, on their own ecosystem. So first and foremost, for example, in marketplaces, they, have, they are working with multiple brands on their platform. So with a very good and persistent identity, they can then approach their merchants and say that I have this X amount of users that are ready to be targeted who have shown interest outside of my ecosystem for your specific products or services. And let's use this data and then use my marketplace as a platform to advertise for your products specifically. For Epsilon, our AI leverage on user level modeling, where we looked at the user behavior, we looked at their behavior within the ecosystem and outside of the ecosystem. By having a user level understanding of user, it helps our AI to make much more intelligent bidding uh, at the point of impression in terms of how often should we bid for the user, what type of messages should we send to the user, what type of product recommendations should we send to a user because we believe that we should speak to a user at an individual level. Traditionally, when brands run programmatic media is via third-party cookies. As you know, it's all anonymous. We send it at a segregated audience level instead of a one-to-one -one user level. So by understanding a user as a user or by understanding Iswandi as Iswandi, understanding what are my likes and dislikes, it helps to ensure that the messages that we send are catered to Iswandi specifically and with, with by showing ads or messages that are relevant for Iswandi, obviously it will help in terms of the conversion rates for the brand itself. By us activating the first party data, uh, for these brands, it certainly will help them to really understand their user at the user level. So our identity resolution or what we call as a core ID is deterministic because it is made up of multiple data sets of a user and we then will validate that data before we even start to bid for that user. Uh, with that being said, when Apple start to remove their third-party deprecation for their Safari, because we already identified the user via their first-party data, it does not affect the advertiser at all when we start to target for Apple or Safari users. You would actually need the full package. Number one, identification. Number two, rich. Number three, dynamic creative. And lastly, of course, full transparent measurement. Any of these pillars go missing, a platform will not learn what is working well for that specific media campaign. Media, of course, should always be on instead of seasonal because it's very typical for brands to see an uplift in their conversions during promotional periods, but off Professional periods is where they should have an always ongoing conversation between them and their customers. Surely it is challenging, but partners or advertisers must always adopt a privacy by design approach. Transparency is key, uh, especially in the media space. And for the end user, it's critical as well uh, in terms of driving growth. So we you know, we don't need to point out that highly publicized data breaches across the space uh, is still ongoing, is still happening, and we need to identify who are the bad actors in this space. 
However, Epsilon believes that customers do want to be spoken to as an individual and recognized as an individual. And, of, and on top of that, the messages that we send or the conversation that we have with the customers will have to be personalized and catered to their likes as well as their dislikes. So this is especially what Epsilon does, identifying user at the user level and speaking to the user once we identify who he or she is. APEC is a diverse region uh, and it's not, I guess, wise to regeneralize APEC uh, against everything, everyone else. Of course, in APEC, as you know, it's a very mobile first region. Uh, a lot of brands do have their own mobile apps. Uh, and of course, the importance, uh, it also raises the importance of mobile number for OTP codes, uh, payment gateways, etc. Uh, email might be widely used uh, in the West, but here in Southeast Asia, mobile number dominates in APEC, example WhatsApp over uh, email. And lastly, we're also seeing a big client focus in on in-house analytics. And by default, Epsilon, we provide raw user-level media activity back to the advertisers, and they can then use it to dissect, to create their own insights as well as their usage. And every client in our region seems to jump at the chance to incorporate our insights that we deliver into their ecosystem. Um, strong in-house analytics shows that brands are focused on two things. Number one, efficiency. And secondly, smart growth. Because number one, uh, it allows me to speak to my prospects directly. They also bring brands that are relevant, most importantly job titles that are relevant specifically for the product that I am representing Epsilon for. Uh, and also in terms of the arrangements prior to the event itself, uh, they have been very hands-on, strategically involved in what we want, what we are looking out for and ensuring that as buyers to the event, we walked away uh, with good leads that we can actually nurture later on.